Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands, My John Readings. This reading will be for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for the upcoming week of November 18th, 2019. So, amazing news. <laughs> Mercury going retrograde on the 20th. Thank you, uh, <laughs> universe. So, that means issues with technology, communication, travel should be easing. Keep in mind, though, there's a shadow period, so... That means for up to a week or so after the 20th, you could still be experiencing those things like Mercury did never went nowhere. <laughs> also, on the 22nd, we start Sagittarius season. Yay! Happy birthday, Sagittarius! Um, and so that means we're coming out of this watery, introspective Scorpio energy, healing subconscious issues, childhood issues, childhood wounds, and we're stepping into the sun, we're stepping into luck, we're stepping into fun and excitement and adventure. Cause that's what Sagittarius is all about. What are the major themes for my fire signs for the upcoming week of November 18, 2019, please? Some impatience. And the wind just picked up. So let's hope for the best. <laughs> so angel number 714, fire signs. Look it up, see if it resonates with you. Okay. So, the first card y'all got is the seven bamboo tortoise. Let me deal with my feathers. So, you got the tortoise. Being impatient. Getting tired, Sagittarius. Wondering when your journey is going to be over. When you're going to get to your destination. Seeking out wisdom. Right? But realize that wisdom, your, the wisdom that you need comes to you when you need it. The wisdom, the journey is the destination, right? The wisdom is the journey. The divine has you. Everything is in divine order. Don't get impatient. Look, because look at that. One wire entering. New beginnings. So just after he's sitting getting tired and he's ready to rest on these rocks and just kind of just give up, look what happens. Bam. Doors fling open. That one energy just coming out of the 11 portal. Manifesting. New opportunities coming. This is good. Four circles jade. Stability. Working hard. But getting to the root of the matter. So it's like with these new opportunities are going to come work. Right? There's work to still be done. We'll see on what. But. This is good too because last week y'all were dealing with self-sabotage. So now it looks like y'all actually trying to break those chains and come out of those cycles. And you're just like, okay, now what? Well, there are new beginnings coming. As long as you're doing the work, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. Look at that. Two wine sword. So making a sacrifice. Letting go of these things. Ah, so they're telling you to let go of your worry. Y'all worrying about how long things are going to take. Y'all worrying about when your new beginnings are going to come. They're saying, let go of that. We got you. I told you already. The journey is the destination. Let it ride. Eight wine mushroom. Let the universe do this. Let the universe take you left. That might be how you find adventure. This is Sagittarius energy. And then 11, uh, November is still a five universal month. Allow life to unfold itself to you. Stop stressing over how long it's going to take. And then they gave you a blank card. Like, listen to that message. Oh, wow. Okay, the plot just thickened. Oh, the plot just thickened. Y'all got another sword. Y'all got a duck. Some of y'all got to let go of a relationship, a partnership wow that's causing you to self-sabotage right that could be the root of your self-sabotaging self because maybe they don't make you feel safe right they make you second guess yourself this is really interesting that's really interesting look these ducks they're not working out it's not working they're looking in two different directions they're on two different life paths but then you got the two energy here yeah this is severing heavy severing energy look there's a nine we just finished up the full moon in Taurus we still in that energy as well completions right being honest with yourself bam being honest with things that have to end listening to your intuition yes everybody say ducks mate for life all is all that no that's not true because there's also evidence to show that ducks cheat also the female ducks go in the bushes a lot of them do look it up and so they, they cheat with the bad rogue ducks and then let the good ducks raise their kids. I know that's a little 
<laughs> completely different digression but i'm just telling you don't be thinking just because you see ducks that you're supposed to be together all the time this is talking about cutting something off letting something new and unexpected come into your life for your new beginnings with the woodcutter you having issues with bringing things to an end you having issues with being honest with yourself you having issues with listening to your intuition but again look at all these swords look at the sword look at the sword even the woodcutter he, he needs an axe y'all so you say the woodcutter he's doing good work he's chopping down trees to burn and to make way to for um his, his crops right to be able to grow his crops he has to chop things down he has to get rid of all the old stuff to get to the new to get to the fresh fertile ground underneath beneath it underneath <laughs> underneath that's funny but look he has an axe look at all this axe energy y'all something gotta go two wine swords something has to go you gonna have to work hard to let it go but you gotta let it go that's what's standing in between you and these new beginnings you're worrying and you're not letting go of something. Fire signs. What? Yeah, I just got another two. Wow. Wow. And the healing. All this makes so much sense now. Look at this. Two bamboo duck again. Look at this. The impatient, but with the divine. So yeah, I got the nerve to be impatient with, with, with the divine. But you still trying to do what you want to do. That's why you're impatient. The divine is giving you everything. It's showing you everything. It's telling you you're on your right path, but you're not listening. And look, there's that unicorn card. You're not cutting off the things that you're supposed to cut off. And that's what's happening. Look at this, two, two, two. Look that up too. So two, 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 then you have another two over here. Look at that. Both swords and both ducks. You have to cut off a relationship, point blank, period. It's explicit to get to your new beginnings right it's gonna take for some of y'all it's gonna be hard because you have some deep issues deeply rooted issues that you're dealing with and they came up during scorpio season but that's the only way forward you have to let this go i've never seen this two swords and two ducks they let like please with the unicorn right being honest with yourself all of this the sword energy look at this one circles pearl manifesting what you want you praying and you asking the universe for abundance and you asking, but you have these blocks that you don't even realize because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Once you do it, look, these are relationships based on money. So this could be a new job. She's doing, she's where she wants to be. But look, that only came after she cut all this stuff off. And then you have the three bamboo toad, healing. So it will be therapeutic, y'all. It's going to help you. It'll be cathartic once you let go of it. There'll be a release afterwards. But guess what? That's going to take you to be honest with yourself. That's going to take you to be in tune with your emotions. That's going to take you to be alone. Some of y'all can't be alone. Something has to go. And only then will you get over this impatient energy and you allow your new beginnings to come. They there. You have one card of new beginnings. She's trying to get through that door, y'all. But y'all won't let her. They, your new beginnings are trying to come to you. Aries eight circles tiger angel number 718 Aries look it up see if it resonates that's funny because this is like the Aries card for me so this is dealing with you y'all are standing in your own way this is you you stand in the way of karma you blocking your money this is all you you blocking your manifestations you blocking your um advice from the divine you are doing this Aries being assertive standing tall blocking tiger you you are your own worst enemy you are blocking yourself why are you blocking yourself because you're not letting go of what you need to let go of that's what it is the tiger is here and yes it's good he can protect you and break down doors when necessary but what happens when you are behind that door Ooh, you behind that door you are holding yourself back Aries you know you are you know what you need to do right Leo six bamboo water Angel number 726, Leo. Very specific. Look it up and see if it resonates with you. So this water is all about emotions. <clears throat> it's all about travel. All about being in tune with the softness of your being, Leo. 
but something has to be let go so for you something got to be let go it looks like it's a more nurturing situation it looks like maybe you are over nurturing somebody bam or in a home situation that something has to be severed so your healing can come because remember the last card was the, the toad all about healing all about being in tune with your emotions but there's something some disarray in your home life or with the person that you're nurturing or a situation where you're nurturing people that is not working out for you this heavy energy yeah Sagittarius <clears throat> two circles pine angel number 212 212 Sagittarius look it up see if it resonates with you so you need to take time to think about your partnerships think about your money think about what brings you stability because look if you have a chaotic partnership even if it is financially beneficial to you what good is it if it's chaos ain't no stability in chaos baby and vice versa even if you say well i have a situation that where that financially it's chaotic right but we're pretty solid well how long is that gonna last that ain't good either you have to have stability and balance all around the pine is a strong very grounded sign something to do with writing something to do with writing out what you want so that that way you don't deviate from it a you can reference it b whenever you get confused and see the universe knows exactly what you want again don't stand in your own way all right y'all thank you for listening have a good week peace out